Hey everybody, it's Video Gaming Asian, the Asian sensation that is always here in gaming, welcoming you guys back for another round of our Pokemon Showdown shenanigans. Now actually, this is the last round for 1v1, and guys, next time we will be going into a brand new metagame, but that's that, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So, I don't know about you guys, but... I don't know if this round is going to top TCM Taco Fridays. That was a pretty eventful round, guys. But uh, why don't we go ahead and introduce who we are bringing, though, for the last shenanigan in 1v1. Our team for today consists of three Pokemon, as usual, being 1v1. We have... Let me get everyone up here on full... See everyone. We have Get Fat the Butterfree. Now, if you guys don't know who Get Fat is, um, if you guys check out the verses of Ash Gray going on with the Mantis Pones, uh, over on both of our channels, by the way, uh, I do catch a Caterpie early on, and basically I nicknamed it Get Fat. Now, it has not, or maybe at this point, you know, I'm recording this farther down the line, so I haven't gotten there yet, but um, breaking the fourth wall, by the way. Uh, if it's a Butterfree, then yeah, that's where Get Fat comes from. But Get Fat the Butterfree, anyway, is packing the Focus Sash with the ability Tinted Lens because that's an actually that's a that's an actually that's actually a fine ability for Butterfree. There, uh, you never know when you're just gonna have to go for it, and if it's you no know, resisted, then it gets uh, Tinted Lens. What do you do again? Sorry, guys. Uh, the Pokemon attacks are not very effective on the target, deal double damage, so who doesn't like that? Attacks, of course, are Bug Buzz, Sleep Powder, Air Cutter, because it kind of doesn't get any other special flying type offensive move, and Quiver Dance. So the point here is to basically Sleep Powder, try to set up with a couple Quiver Dances, and then just go ham. Go ham. And again, Tinted Lens is going to be resisted. Uh, that's just going to help us out. So as for the investments, though, we do have four going into HP. Uh, 252 in special attack, 252 with the benefiting timid nature for that extra speed. Now, Butterfree's defenses, except actually its special defense isn't that bad, but we got the Quiver Dance, so everything's going to be going up in special defense, special attack, and speed for that matter. So, other than that, there was no reason to invest in defenses for Butterfree, and it's sashed, so we should be able to at least get one Quiver Dance off, if not a Sweet Powder, and get even more. Moving on, though, we have probably who I want to say will be the MVP today. Oh, also, because he is a great fellow fam, a member of the YouTube fam. Ladies and gentlemen, Dark Pyroar. Dark Pyroar is a... Well, what he is, he's a Pyroar. But, um, basically, guys, Dark Pyroar was talking to me over on Skype the other day. And, you know, he mentioned a very good... Or a, a, a very, uh, a key thing, I guess. I don't know where I'm going with that sentence, as usual. Um... Who uses Pyroar? Like, I can com competitively, I cannot talk today. Uh, competitively, I have not seen many Pyroars out there. And uh, it is his mascot. And it's a beautiful mascot, I have to say. Pyroar is a very cool Pokemon. When I first saw it, when they introduced X and Y, um, I wanted it. I really did. I, the female is beautiful. The male is even cooler and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, this is Dark Pyroar rocking the choice specs because I'm using him as full offense especially at, at that uh the ability we went with is rivalry because it gets moxie and unnerved now 1v1 you're really stretching it out there if you're thinking berries are going to be really prevalent i mean they could be but you know rivalry sounds like the best one to go with because obviously we're not running physical pyro or so that's kind of what we got to go with attacks are heat wave because that i could have gone with fire blast but i feel like i would get a little bit of you know well you know you might miss so that's your fault and but uh, Heat Wave, just to be safe, we do have Hidden Power Ice because one of its weaknesses is ground, so, you know, we'll have coverage on that. It does get the powerful Normal Type Hyper Voice, which, being a Normal Type itself, that's power. And, of course, guys, we can't run Dark Pyroar without having him know something Dark Type, so I gave it Dark Pulse just for, you know, haha's. And for stat investments, we have 4 going to HP, Special Attack 252, and 252 in speed with, again, the benefiting Timid Speed Nature, so... Um, actually, to go ahead a little bit, I think all three of these Pokemon are timid. That's kind of weird. I did not plan that, but... So that is Dark Power, guys. Um, of course, you know, he is a fellow YouTuber, and he's part of the fam. So I will be sure to leave his link to his channel and his Twitter account down in the description, and you guys gotta go check him out by the end, or right now, or just check him out before you, you leave this episode and stuff like that or this round but um last up we have creepy past which is from the let's play pokemon yellow version series going on on the channel right now um the reason it's creepy past is because i couldn't fit the a for creepy pasta so um you know gonna go legit here and go with what we actually named it so life orb is the item on creepy past the haunter levitate is the only ability it can get 
And for moves, now this is a competitive haunter I like to run because I wanted to be a little creative with my haunter. It runs Hex, Hypnosis, Sludge Bomb, and Dream Eater. Now the main point of this is that Hex does double damage with a status on the Pokemon. So, the, the enemy Pokemon, not, not us. But So what we do is we Hypnosis, Hex, right away with that boosted life orb. Or if we're in a little bit of a slump if we're not killed for some reason yet because we have booty defenses, we could Dream Eater to get HP back up. Uh, plus, Sludge Bomb has a chance to poison, so that's another status that we have waiting in the ranks if, you know, we, we can't get Hypnosis off. But anyways, guys, Haunter is very powerful with the stat investments of 4 in HP, 252 in Special Attack with that nice and powerful base 115, and base 95 speed, but we are going Timid Nature with 252 in speed. So we're maxing out speed for all three Pokemon, and with that, guys, I've talked enough about this, uh, this team. Why don't we go ahead and just get started? So... Let's begin. So you guys know the rules already. This is the 1v1 shenanigans. We go in with these three Pokemon. Each of them get three rounds to themselves. Winner comes on top. Whoever has the most wins for their three rounds. So, let's begin. Uh, that, was, uh, that was the first team. How about we go to this one? Alright. Let's begin. So... Oh! Okay, okay, let's real quick then change that. I, wow, that's kind of going to ruin Get Fat's point. Um, that really is. Guys, I have to, honestly, this is shenanigans, so we probably shouldn't care about what we're putting on everything. So let's go ahead and just give it the, uh, uh, um, leftovers. You know what? We're giving it leftovers. That is my go-to. I don't know what item to give a Pokemon item thing. Yeah. Anyway, we should be fine now. That seemed to be the only problem. Um, easy fix, easy fix. I didn't have to do anything. But we got our... Just an Infernape. Oh, okay, okay. I, I see you, big dog. So, uh, well, unfortunately, though. Unfortunately. Uh, well, you know what? I guess we don't have to go in order. We're, we're, we're gonna kinda, we're gonna break the rules here. Let's go. Let's start backwards this time. We For the first two rounds, we've been going... You know, down the line. Let's go backwards up up the line. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and Hypnosis. Because I think we should not outspeed this uh, Infernape. What is Infernape speed? I know it's fast, but I thought we would be faster. Okay, so Creepy Pass goes down. That is not a win for his first round. Uh, that's bad. I was really hoping Creepy Pass would get a win on that one, but I guess not. Okay, guys, so going into our second round with Creepy Pass. Can we, can we find a round, please? There we go. Ask and you shall receive. Uh, who do we have now? Um, yo, Showdown. Showdown. Come on, Showdown. Okay. Oh, we have a Noivern. What is with people bringing only one Pokemon? Come on, guys. You can bring three. Anyway, we have a Noivern, so Creepy Pass is going up once again. Uh, my opponent decided to leave for some reason okay well being how we kind of just want to uh be, get consecutive battles going on we're gonna go ahead and find another one because my opponent decided to dc for some reason i don't know why dcing a 1v1 just doesn't make sense I, I i hope you guys can agree with me on that one it just it really doesn't and we have this guy again so we can't do that either um i don't know if i've mentioned that as a rule but um, if we're gonna run into the same people just like constantly. Okay, here we go. Here's someone new. Here is someone new. So, we are gonna go ahead and send Creepy Pass out against this, uh, shiny Hitmonchan. I like how it's, it's, uh, boxing gloves are blue. I didn't, I don't think I've ever seen, the rest of it is gross. I mean, it's like puke green, but we're gonna go ahead and Hypnosis on up. Lee Sin. Lee Sin. Isn't that like a League of Legends thing? I don't know. I really don't know, but uh, Creepy Pass might have this. If we get the Hypnosis off, then we could, of course, just go for Dream Eaters, and that is Psychic, and uh, that is base 100 power. It's not Stab. We get the Hypnosis off. No first turn wake up. Thank you. And we're going to go ahead and Dream Eater, and that's going to do a little over half, and it wakes up. Now, here's something I don't... Oh. Oh! Okay, well, I think we should be fine going for a Sludge Bomb, because he couldn't Mach Punch us, obviously. And uh, we do get taken down to the Light Orb, however, we still win, so that's one win, one loss for Creepy Pass. He's got one more battle, guys, so we're going to go ahead and send him on out for his last battle. Um, I gotta say, it's not looking good for, ah, it's not looking good for him right now, because, uh, I, like I said, I think Dark Pyroar's got this. I think Dark Pyroar is going for three straight wins. 
Let me know in the comment section if you think this feel the same way. Uh, think, feel the same way. I don't know. Let me guys know if, you know, our minds are linked. If you, if you guys are, um, Dull Fox. Okay, so, again, one Pokemon. We've got Creepy Pass coming right up. However, however, this is great because we just missed the Hypnosis, so that's not good. Attract! Oh, don't be doing this right now. Oh, please don't be doing this right now. I'm not in the mood for th this game. I love Attract as a move because, uh, let's be honest, it is a great hacks move. But, uh, we break through and we miss Hypnosis. Why do... Okay, you know what? It it's fine. Okay, Creepy Pass got one win, but he loses two, so he's out of the runnings for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and send Dark Pyro out for his, uh, his three rounds. Um, God, I'm a, I'm a little bit salty about that, to be quite honest. It nothing makes me even more salty than breaking through an attract and then still missing your move. Listen, I know it's hypnosis. I know it's got 60 base accuracy, but come on. Give me a break here. Okay, so we got options now. We got either Venusaur or an Ursaring. Either way, though, I mean, if that Venusaur comes out, I mean, unless it's a Mega, which uh, Venusaur is not coming out. So here's what we can do. Either, well, we're choice. So our, our, our choice of a move is what it is. So at this point, the best thing to do would be to go for Stab. Now, both of our... Okay, so Heat Wave would be the better thing to do. So we're going to go for a Choice Specs Heat Wave. Hopefully this will do some massive damage. Remember, guys, Dark Pyroar, Pyroar itself is a Pokemon. It's, it's no joke. It's powerful. It's powerful. The defenses are kind of booty. It has pretty good HP, but it's power. It's power. Um, so let's go ahead and see. It's going to protect. Well, that's just stalling, and I don't want any of that. So can Oh, that's right. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it's guts. So we definitely don't want to take a hit. So we are banking that Dark Pyroar will take this out. And it doesn't. There's the close combat. Dark Pyroar is going down. Um, That's why I didn't want to get hit. But uh, obviously, Ursaring has pretty good special defense. Either that or, you know, no, that's got to be it. Dark Pyroar is not good. Okay, so here we go for the second battle for Dark Pyroar. Dark Pyroar either is going up against an Aegislash or a Metacham. Um, obviously Aegislash would be the better, you know, the win for Dark Pyroar over here, but no, we're gonna go with Metacham, so... Hmm, here's the thing. I think Metacham has good special defense for some reason. I don't quote me on that. I, I'm thinking that it does. Uh, so... Yeah, but wait, hold on. It's fighting psychic, so I don't think Dark Pulse is actually. Yeah, this is GG on his on my end. Uh... I'm gonna go for the Heat Wave. I I wanted to go. Oh wait, no, he's gonna mock punch, right? Nope, nope, he's not. There's the high jump kick. Dark Pyroar is going down for round two. Uh, never mind, guys. I guess Dark Pyroar is just going down for three rounds. Dark Pyroar, I am sorry if you are watching this. I meant no disrespect. Um, but can you take out a Shuckle? Uh, I think I would be, I think you would be quite offended and I would also be quite uh, weirded out if you could not take out a Shuckle, to be quite honest. Um, but you never know, Shuckle is that Pokemon that just kind of does its job and for some reason it's just a pain. But um, yeah, so the other thing, the only thing we could do is go for, now this is should just be you know, it shouldn't be super effective. Yeah, because he's a rock type as well. So he's going to toxic us. Um, I think this is GG on his end. I, th I think we got this because, um, yeah, it's like toxic. Uh, if it's, you know, if it's not a 1v1 battle, they tend to set up stealth rock, sticky web, and then they do infestation. That's at least what I remember from Shuckles. Um, but yeah, so Dark Pyroar, don't feel bad. You get one win. So, um, you know what? Actually, you've got one win. Creepy Pass has one win. If... Uh, get fat can only get one win then we got to go to a tiebreaker so there's still a chance guys there's still a chance uh, so we're gonna go ahead and see what get fat has got for us today unfortunately though we can't pack the focus sash so that's kind of bad here comes um, now obviously we battled this guy before um, like the battle just before that one but we're using a different Pokemon so you know, the rules don't apply to that. What I'm saying is that basically if we're using the same Pokemon and we run into the same guy like three times in a row, obviously we're not going to do that because we, we know the outcome. They're going to go with their same move. We're going to go ahead, though, 
can get a sleep power off. I think Metacham, though, is still going to be faster. Probably. Butterfree is not the fastest thing out there. 262 speed. Yeah, Metacham should definitely outspeed. Um, not quite sure what it has for us, though. I mean, I'm guessing Fire or Thunder Punch. No, we are faster. Okay, so we get the Sleep Powder off. Okay, so we, we have some luck here. If we can get a Quiver Dance off, I'm just going to go for one. Stay asleep, stay asleep, stay asleep. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to go for one, and we're going to go for an Air Cutter. Now, Air Cutter is not the best special flying type move. I would obviously rather... Oh, oh wakes up! No! Oh, whoa, actually, the best thing he's got for us is a high jump kick, so... We outspeed, obviously. Um, if he wants to go for a mock punch, we resist it, and I think we would live it. So, uh, get fat coming in, coming in with a win for his first round. I almost called it her, but you know what? I don't actually know what get fat is gender-wise. I feel like it's a girl for some reason. Um, but yeah. So once my opponent accepts the fact that he's going down. There we go. And we get the crit. Where was the crit the first time? That's the thing about air cutter though. It does have a high critical hit ratio. So it's not, you know, it's not all, not all bad. Not all bad. So we're going to go into round two for get fat. Here is the dull fox. Mm, this isn't good. This isn't good because I know for a fact that dull fox is just going to straight out. Unless he wants to have some fun and just go for a tract. Um, you know, he can definitely do that. But either way, I think get fat is Oh, He is going to do that. Well, we get the sweet powder off anyway. Okay, there we go. Making up for uh, making up for the mistake with Creepy Pass. But we're going to go ahead and try to get Quiver Dance off. Because we're attracted, that's, mm, that's not good. That's not good. That's Basically, this comes down to whether we can break through enough times to be able to get an attack off. And either way, I still think Get Fat is not in the best position right now. Because Dull Fox has all the advantage. Type advantage. But... We do get the Quiver Dance off, so we should actually be now faster than Dull Fox. Now, I'm going to get a little greedy here. I really am. Obviously, I don't, you know, oh, 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 we break through, we break through. Uh, Dull Fox, it's asleep, it's asleep. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. Bug Buzz should not be resisted because it's also a Psychic type. However, we have Tinted Lens. What am I worried about? What am I worried about? You know what? No! Oh, what? Wait a minute. Physical dull fox? I guess we're not the only one going with shenanigans today because that that's got to be that's a new one in my book. Why? No, we were. I I um. I love dull fox, but that dull fox is now on my hit list uh if you run a track thunder punch del fox then you're not you're not you're not my friend i'm sorry you're not my friend i i did not like that i got two quiver dances just straight in a row and then it decides to hacks me with a track you know what you know what showdown no no but we're on our last battle for get fat so if get fat gets a win then he is of course the winner if not we will go into a tiebreaker between the three. We got the sleep powder off. I am very proud to get that today, though. No misses on the sleep powder. That, that's very good. So let's go ahead and quiver dance on off. Um, now, as for offensive play, what are we going to do here? You know what? We're going to get greedy one more time because I really just want to decimate this Marowak right now. Get all my frustration from that Delph Fox defeat. Uh, uh, here it comes with the... Uh, uh, fly yeah, but it's not stab, and we're at a plus two special defense, so you know what? I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Um, I think this is resisted because it's a ground type, but we're at a plus two, plus we've got tinted lens. I think we should be fine. Plus it's a crit! Get fat is the winner. So with that, guys, that's pretty much it. We've completed three rounds and 1v1. Get fat, congratulations, you are the winner. Hopefully we can, uh, well, we can't run that actual set in the actual verses, but hopefully get that will be just as powerful in the, in the verses. So guys, that's going to end off today's showdown shenanigans round. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Once again, go check out Dark Power. His channel link and Twitter account will be down in the description. He did a fine job. So please, you know, please give him some slack. It, it was my fault. And Dark Power, I apologize ahead of time. I'm sorry for making you look like a 
whatever that was. But guys, we're gonna end off right here and uh as always, if you enjoyed the content that you have viewed in today's video, be sure to hit that like button right at the bottom of the said video. Tell me how I'm doing. Did you really like the 1v1 shenanigans? If not, I'm not going to be offended if you tell me so, because like I said, guys, I expected it not to be as exciting. However, if, you know, like I said, if you really didn't like it, be sure to hit that dislike button right at the bottom of the video, right next to said like button if you're feeling like you got to do so. But that's completely up to you guys, so I will leave you with that. However, with all said and done, I'm Video Game Nation. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you next time.